Colorado Coalition for the Homeless, so you can enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner for a great cause. Well, one of the restaurants is Black Pearl. Recently, I stopped by their kitchen to see firsthand how culinary magic is made. Here we are, Black Pearl. You know the restaurant with Chef Mitch, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Nice Black Pearl over here on Old South Pearl. I love this neighborhood. I used to live down there, actually. Did you? Love it. So we're going to make duck, right? It's your duck breast, yes. And what else? We got uh, pumpkin onion tarts and acorn squash. And then we're going to garnish it with a little bit of pumpkin seed and thyme. Let's get started. So we're So what do you want, we can make this at home if we wanted to, right? Absolutely. So what do you want to look for when you shop for a duck? At the duck store? You're just looking for good, fresh quality. So you want to make sure that the meat kind of pushes back at you. It kind of bounces back when you touch it. That means it's fresh and it's good to go. It's almost the same thing. And you're also, I mean, you're going to want to smell it too. You're going okay. to smell, make sure that there's no... It's bouncing. It's bouncing, that's for sure. It smells like duck. Duck, you always want to make sure you do it at a medium temperature because what we're looking to do is render that fat. Render the fat. Render the fat. And make you know. We're gonna go ahead and make our garnish right now, actually. So, and where do you buy? Where do you buy thyme? We actually grow it out in our garden. We have a you garden out front. Oh, okay. So we we have a lot of herbs that we grow out front. So we're just gonna go ahead and just pull it off the stem. Mm -hmm. This is This is acorn squash. So those big green squash that you see in the grocery store right now, perfectly in season, beautifully local. Uh, I thought those were just for holiday decorations. No, you can cook. No, absolutely. All of those boards you can cook with. Butternut squash, all of them. They're ugly, but they're beautiful to see. <laughs> That is beautiful. And here is the finished product. Look at this. That is beautiful. And this I out, Mitch is one of the first chefs that you haven't reduced to tears by the end of the segment. <laughs> I mean, you know, usually they're crying. You can't wait to Look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. Here, you guys, I want you to try a little bit of yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The acorn squash. <clears throat> try a little bit of that. That's plus, for you. Yeah. Plus, he's every bit of what, nine? How old are you, Mitch? He's 14. How old are you? He's 24. He's here. Um, <laughs> so, again, it's tomorrow. And I know the, the forecast is scary, but it's a great cause. And over 55, <clears throat> pardon me, restaurants in the Denver area yeah. for Coalition for the Homeless. Yeah. And well, we're hopefully to... the worst of the storm will be over by dinner time. Right, and it's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. If you as you check it out, you can go no matter what. Can well, you, you, can, you can just you come over to my place and, and cook if you'd like. Oh, I already... <laughs> try some of that duck. I'm going to eat this. You'll eat the mind. duck. I so it's just really good. It's yummy. And Black Pearl's over there in South Pearl Street, but uh, again... Oh, like over 50 pots. Isn't this oh. delicious? This is so good. So there you and go. And you didn't burn anything or anything in the kitchen. You no, know? I, did, I did okay, didn't I? That is killer. Until the fire department. You know what? I have a hundred friend. You and I will share this recipe, Mitch. Mm -hmm. And he takes duck and he puts peppers in the thunderlings and then puts them all on the grill. Have you done that? Like I said, it seems like I'm going to share a recipe now. Mm. That's out of this world. Great. You know, Yummy. And uh, so you guys have a great weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>